Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new Minecraft series. It is I, Chimney Swift 11 and guys, we are in a Minecraft 1.16 world. I'm so excited, look at this. We've got a ruined portal behind us over there. So this is a new series. I'm in creative mode, but we're gonna be doing a lot of building. This whole series is gonna be, a, be about building. I don't really know what I'm gonna call the series. I know what I'm gonna call this episode, but I don't know what I'm gonna call the series. But I just have some really awesome ideas for tons of different builds that I want to do for you guys. And I just kind of got to get these ideas out of my head and into Minecraft. And so we're going to be starting with one today. But are you guys excited? Like, okay, brand new series starting here on my channel. Also, tomorrow, Minecraft 1.16 drops, which is super, super exciting. So check this out. Got a ruined portal right here with some crying obsidian. This stuff is really freaking cool looking. And uh, yeah, got a little chest here too with some goodies. So the idea with this series is I want to challenge myself to build new things more frequently in Minecraft. And I also want those things that I build to, you know, potentially, I want to make videos about them, but I want them to also potentially inspire you guys to build new things in your Minecraft worlds with, you know, your friends or on your own or whatever as well. Like that's, that's my goal. So over the course of this series, you know, there's going to be things that I'm going to build that I'm going to be comfortable with. And then there's also going to be builds that I want to try and take on in different styles that like I've never done before. And I may, I may fail miserably. I may succeed wonderfully. I don't know, but I'm going to try and keep the builds relatively small because I, I, I want these to be things that you guys can do, you know, maybe in your worlds in sort of a, a, a reasonable amount of time. You know, I don't want to build some like castle that takes me 10 days to build. And, you know, it just like I want to build like smaller things that are really functional and useful for you guys, but are also very creative and inspiring and are things that maybe you can just very easily add to your world. So if you have any suggestions, if you're like, yo, Jim, I would really love to see you build, I don't know, a Mediterranean uh, boat dock, or I want to see you build a house in the Asian style or whatever. Like, leave me a comment down below. I will, I will go through the comments. I'm going to check, you know, check stuff. And uh, obviously I have a lot of ideas and things that I want to build for you guys. The first majority of this, this series, we're going to be doing a lot of things with 1.16. There's so many new blocks that are coming, but today before I get too far ahead of myself here and start rambling, I just want to say that I picked out a perfect little spot for a sort of storybook looking medieval starter house that I think you guys are going to really like. And I am going to build it right here on this little platform. So check this out. This world is, this world is awesome. There's a savanna biome right here. I spawned in right there. Savanna biome over there. We've got a ruined portal right here. A nice little plains biome over here. And this is just really, really awesome. And check it out behind this hill over here, we've got a village. So perfect for trading and all the fun stuff that comes along with villages. Of course, there's some loot over there. And yeah, it just seems like a great little world, nice and flat area right here, a bunch of different flowers and stuff. You could set up some flower farms and different things. But I think what this world totally needs is a storybook Minecraft medieval starter house right here. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna build and do a little time lapse, and I'm gonna talk to you guys kind of about what I'm doing. And then at the end, I'm going to give you guys a tour and give you guys some special information at the end, like how you can download this world if you want to play with it on your own as well. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna jump into the time lapse right now and let's get building. All right, so here we go, guys. I've never really done one of these things before where I've, you know, commentate over a time lapse. I'm gonna try and do the best that I can, but here we go, clearing out a little bit of area, laying down a structure here on the outside. And basically I just sort of, when I built this, I kind of just mess around with the front structure, like the front door for a while. You can see, I just kind of tried a few different designs. So I found one that I kind of liked. I kind of played with some different blocks and I kind of did the same thing with the sides. Basically, I just, I don't, I, I don't strip wood well, let's just say that. <laughs> and by that, I mean, I can do it correctly, obviously. It's an easy thing to do. You just right click it. But I just, I don't know. I, I haven't figured out a great way to use it yet. So I'm kind of still learning about that. So the walls will change as you'll see. But here we go. We're, we're starting to build a bit of a roof here, swinging around to the back side. And I kind of got a roof design that I wanted to. So really high vaulted, you know, sort of A-frame looking roof for this one. And I've been using them for this one. I don't know. I think for the medieval styles, I really like the spruce wood with uh, you know, some of the dark oak logs as well. And then we're just putting a little bit of a section here on the side, which, you know, will kind of blend nicely into the house, kind of give it a bit more dimension. Again, these front panels here, we're going to do something with in a minute. And then we're dropping in some granite, 
some polished granite as well as some cobblestone for the floor, adding a little bit of a, what do we call that off the back? I don't know, an, an awning, something? Doing a little more terraforming here with the wandering trader floating around the bottom. Also realized, yo, this, this roof's a little boring. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some stone bricks around the outside to make things look a little bit more interesting, which I thought gave it just a nice little pop of class. Here we go, we're weathering the roof. So I'm swapping out a bunch of the stairs for slabs and putting in some stripped wood where some of the planks were just to kind of give it a little bit more sort of texture. And then I kind of added some more uh, dimension and sort of spikes on the, I don't know what to call that, but I gave the some more dimension to the roof there. And here we go, now I'm changing up the wall texture. So I kind of went, with some more dark oak, but I also sort of swapped out a lot of the, I basically took out all of the stripped wood and I put in like stone, cobblestone, gravel, and andesite just to give it this really sort of like gray looking texture. And by the way, this build, I wanted to kind of use all the materials that are pretty basic to find. I thought about using like dead coral blocks for some of the gray there and stuff, but I was like, yo, this is a starter house. I don't think people are gonna really have that. So I kind of also then whipped up this cool little design for the windows with the like window box for some flowers there as some oak trap doors. And then in here, I'm gonna be putting in some windows in the side because I wanna build like a, an attic up, up top. There was like a lot of room up top. So the inside of this house is really sweet. I can't wait to give you guys a tour. So flying inside here, we're gonna design our little kitchen. Uh, and then I dropped down a campfire there to see if I had room for a fireplace. And yeah, this part of the build was actually really fun. I, I really enjoyed just like cramming blocks into like a small little space and just trying to mess around with different blocks to sort of come up with something that's cool and functional. So here we're installing our fireplace, a staircase as well, which was honestly, I'm really happy that I, I didn't even plan out the dimensions of this house. It all just fit perfectly. So I got really, really lucky. Here we're putting in the attic. Like this is like the top, top floor. Uh, and then this is the floor right below that. But of course, you know, don't don't worry too much right now. I'll give you guys a proper tour here in just a second. But yeah, I just sort of tried to set this up and make the inside look alive because your know, houses can look nice on the insides, but you gotta put the, you gotta make the interior look good as well. So just trying to add some storage in here as it is a starter house. And of course you, you know, as you know, with starter house, you gotta have some storage so you can keep your stuff organized. So flying back out here around the outside, we've got the chimney going in there and uh, that's that's it. <laughs> All right, let's jump on in. I'll give you guys a tour. All right, guys, so check this out. This little storybook house looks freaking sweet, I think. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know. Of course, my opinion is a bit biased because I built it, but let me know what you guys think. You guys want a little tour? Let's do a little tour, all right? So check this out. I did a lot of terraforming and landscaping. Well, not a lot of terraforming, sorry. I did a lot of landscaping, not a ton of terraforming. I did a little bit of terraforming for the path over here, which was a lot of fun. But yeah, we've got this nice little path walkway right here, kind of leading up from the little river. You know, you could just like build like a little boat dock here or something, it'd be perfect. And then coming right up here, we've got a little bit of storage. You know, if your inventory is just like, you can't carry all your stuff, then lugging it off the boat, you can drop it off right here, I guess. And then kind of coming up here, we've got a nice little walkway and a cool little front yard area that, you know, needs to be mowed. But I, I love these tall grasses and stuff. I think they make builds and things in Minecraft just look a lot more sort of detailed. I don't know why, I just really like it. Got a little campfire over here, little side yard that looks kind of nice, but that's not really all that exciting because what's inside is probably more exciting than anything. So this is the house inside. We got our staircase going up to the left right here. Straight ahead, we've got a back door as well as a fireplace. Got some bookshelves back behind here. If we go out the back door here, uh, we sort of have just like this little back patio. You could put like a horse here probably. You could even exchange, you know, all these fences here for fence gates so that you could get out nice and easily. And I've got another path kind of just leading down to out here, you know, out the back or whatever, which, you know, you could probably connect nice and easily to the village over there, which would be pretty cool. And we'll do something over there actually in a minute. So let's go take a look out around inside now that we've covered all the outside stuff. And right when you come in the front door here, uh, I'm actually noticing that we have a leak. There was some water dripping down. That's kind of a problem. I didn't think about that. Where is it? I don't see it anymore. Maybe, maybe we're good. Oh, there it is. It's right here. Our kitchen's a little leaky. It's, <laughs> it's okay. I can, I can fix that. I'll, I'll fix that. 
So anyways, here's our kitchen. I know you guys saw me build this on the time lapse, but of course everything looks different when you're on the ground looking at it. So got some bookshelves here, a little countertop here. Probably could put like another, you know, flower pot or something over here, maybe like a pressure plate or something. Be kind of cool. Got two furnaces here. We got a blast furnace over here, a workbench, and uh, just, I don't know, fun little design. I hit a torch back here, which is kind of neat. And cauldron, note block, you know, nothing too crazy here, but I think it looks pretty cool. So then if we go upstairs, things get kind of fun upstairs. So this is the first floor upstairs area. We got some sort of mini storage right here which I think is pretty neat. And we've got another uh, double chest right here, which is great for some storage and some bookshelves as well. This is the only crafting table that I, I, I kind of hid this one, but it's, it's, it's right here upstairs, which is, which is kind of cool. Got some more barrels right here for additional storage. Of course, you guys know you need storage in a nice starter home. So anyways, got some furnaces up here as well in case you need to do some smelting, more barrels, another chest. We even have, this is what's causing the water downstairs, but we have an irrigated, Potato, a mini potato farm, which is so cool upstairs. I don't know, I've never done that in a house before. Really cool, I, I think. I think if you're just like hungry, need a midnight snack, you know, pop out of bed, just be like, mmm, potatoes. You could even cook it up right here. You don't even have to go to the kitchen. It's like a little microwave, basically. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I got another chest here on kind of like a little table thing. Nice little picture frame. And our bed setup, which I think is very simple, but also very cool. Got a beam above our head here, which also looks kind of nice. And then if you go up here, this is like kind of the attic. So we can't really go that way, but right here, we've got even more storage. We've got a barrel under here, a barrel under here, a barrel here, a chest here, another barrel, uh, some cobwebs, got some bookshelves and two chests back here with a nice little view of the village out the window over there, which is kind of neat. And another view out here. Although actually I just noticed that I blocked that with the furnace. What we could probably do is just Let's see, oh, let me actually grab spruce planks, not a stair, and we'll just put that there. Now we can have like one window there because the fern, or because, uh, what did I say, furnace? I meant the chimney stack. The chimney stack is going right there. But we got a double window over here, which is kind of cool as well. You can kind of look out here by staying on the chest. So that's pretty much the inside tour. Now, if you guys are interested in downloading this world, I am going to be making these world downloads available to patrons only. So if you want to join up and support me on Patreon, one of the rewards for the $10 a month here, you'll, you'll get access to the Minecraft server that I just announced yesterday. That's going to be coming hopefully this week. But I will also be, because I'm doing this new series where I want to be building things and giving you guys inspiration for builds and stuff. If you do want to download the world for yourself, those world downloads will be included with the $10 per month reward tier on Patreon. So if you want to check that out, link is down in the description below. Before we go today though, guys, I do have to do something over here in the village because as I was playing and you know building this, all the villagers over here seemingly kind of died. I, I don't know what happened. So, well, I do know what happened. Freaking zombies are what happens. So we're going to repopulate this village here. We're just going to add some villagers in here. And I think what we also need to do is uh, I should probably put in some defense for them as well because, you know, I don't know, we need like a healthy village population over here. Otherwise, this village is useless and no fun. I love villagers in Minecraft. I think they're a lot of fun to mess around with. So I think what we need to do is we also need to make sure that we have some defense in here, like I said. So let's make like a couple iron golems. Oops, here, let's do that. And bah, there we go. So there we go, we got an iron golem there. Let's make another one over here. Of course, because I'm in creative mode, I can do this, which is nice. Boom, another iron golem. Oh, hold on, I actually made those. Did I make those too high? I haven't built an iron golem in forever. I guess they don't need to be that tall. All right, well, let's do like four. We'll do like four iron golems. Is it just this? Oh, it is just this, I think. Boom, iron golem. And we'll do one more village defense system. Whoops, there we go. Okay, four iron golems here to enforce the law. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the storybook house. Now, this isn't, I will put this out on Patreon, but not after, it'll probably be a little bit later this week because I actually want to build something in the nether in this world as well. And that's gonna be the next episode. I'm gonna show you guys that hopefully tomorrow. So uh, for 1.16, so I'm very, very excited for that. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys, so before we go, I gotta give a special thank you to my patrons for helping make this video possible. So special thanks to Cameron, Danny, Darren, Darth Infernus, Elijah, Garrett, Jake, Jonathan, Kyler, Nano, Omega Gamer, Parker, Ryan, Samuel, Savannah, Siler, The Old Navy, Wavesy, William, 
Whoopagadon and Xander is a nerd. Guys, thank you so much. If you want to see your name here at the end of the next video, make sure to sign up on Patreon. Link is down below.